guys and welcome back to Rapid Chats with Angus. So, we are in Corona lockdown at the moment in South Africa for 21 days, starting the day the 27th of March up until the 16th of April. And um, if this thing can't be curbed, it might go on further, but I hope it doesn't come down to that. Anyway, as per the description of this video, we will look at who might make the step up to the screen box in future. Now, before we get to that point, I would like to remind you of the 2016-2017 era. Yes, the era of Alistair Kutsir. Now, you're probably thinking, why do you want to talk about that? It was a dark time, we didn't like it, we lost more than we won, we had some annihilations, we had some embarrassments. Yes, it was doom and gloom, but there was a silver lining to that two seasons. And that was, there was another team that played, called the SA18. And they played the England Saxons at the point in time. And 18 of those um, guys that played for the SAA side graduated to become Springboks. And I'll go through the list and um, we'll see who those guys are. In 2016, we had Francois Finter, Kournos Kosan, Jean-Luc Dupree, um, Lisa Koboka and Travis Ishmael. The World Cup winning box out of that squad was Lucanio Am, Erges Neyman, Malcolm Marx, Thomas de Toy and Franco Moster. In 2017, we had Uzair Kasim, Volko Lowe, Oxen Che, Sukumbuzo Noche, We in the 2017 match against England was not just a standout player, but was a standout leader watching that game. He was constantly talk, talking to his forwards and um, even to the whole team for that matter, and he was just sublime, as he is now for the Sharks in 2020. Um, Ruan Combring. Just to clarify, I know Ron Combre made his debut in 2016 and only represented the A-side in 2017, but I want to mention that he played for the A-side as well. Um, and also Makazoli Mapimpi, Jumbo Olingo, and lastly the World Cup winner in that 2017 squad being Warwick Galant. Now, if you look at the stat, it is 18 box from the A-side and 6 World Cup winners. Now, I feel that this year should be another opportunity to look towards maybe an end of year tour where we can bring in guys that has performed you know for the franchises and um just give them a bit of international taste for test rugby and see how they perform and maybe we can give, give an indication whether or not they can make the step up towards the national side now i've put together a team here the saa side for 2020 um and you guys are welcome to add your comments on guys that i might have left out which you feel that is there's an opportunity i'm only human i only can say what i've seen um and i can be wrong as well you know so don't crucify me for this i just went on what i've seen so far and let me know if you do agree with my side that i will mention now so at fullback i have apalele fussy which I feel is a brilliant player for one. He's very good under a high ball. He's fearless when he goes into contact. Um, he also is very good under a high ball, not just fearless. Um, he is quite speedy, makes good decisions on, on, match, on, on a match day, um, or in a match for that matter, sorry. And I feel that he could be the backup fullback going forward after Wally Kalant and Willy Leroux. On the, on the right wing, we have Mador Stangwe, who actually stepped up well in the absence of Hello Shark and Springbok World Cup winner Subun Korsi in his injury, um, with, his, with his injury he had recently. And um, I feel Tamwe could be one of the future wingers you know, for the Springboks as well. And at outside center, I have Wandi Silas and Milani. Now, we have seen glimpses of him in Super Rugby with the Lions. He hasn't always started this year, but um, when he came on and when he played a match um, from the starting lineup, he has been very good. And he's played last year in Super Rugby as well. Um, inside center, I have Ruan now. Um, so basically, Ruan basically plays outside center mostly for the Stormers. But in this instance, we can't have two 13s on the field or two number 13s on the team sheet for that matter. And I feel Ruan is a bit more versatile that he can actually switch to inside center. So I'll play Ruan now there. He has been part of a Springbok training camp before on the Rassi Erasmus, so there's definite potential because Rassi knows what he's doing. We all know that. Um, on the left wing, we have Roscoe Speckman. Now, I'm a Stormer supporter and I'm a big fan of Sia Velo Sinatla in sevens, but I have to admit, he hasn't actually fired in a Stormer's jersey, whereas Roscoe Speckman, in a shorter space of time, has actually fired more for the Bulls. So I'll play Speckman on the left wing in the SAA side. And then Marnie Lubbock at number 10. Um, yeah, basically what I want to mention here with the number 10s is I haven't gone for any guys that has caps already. So 
I couldn't go, for instance, for Cohen Bosch or a Damien Willem. So, because they already have caps. I'm looking at guys that have no caps whatsoever who can maybe still get a cap for the spinning box. So, that's why I went with Manu Lubok at 10. Sanere Nohamba. Um, just to mention on him quickly. Uh, I remember against the Hurricanes earlier this year, Sanele had to come on and play fly-off with Luis Schroeder. So the Sharks played with two nights on the field, and although they lost quite heavily, they didn't play badly. And Sanele was actually good playing number 10. So that's quite a nice option to have, quite a hybrid player in the backs. You can play 9 and 10, um, but obviously he's a better 9, and he would prefer 9, I guess, to play as well. Um, number 8, John Augustus um, Otroki. Yeah, big grunter, big engine, a hard worker, brilliant in the 20, um, I think it was 2018 Junior World Championships, uh, got the Player of the Year award. So, Troke at number 8 for me. And number 7, we have the Shark Style of Paul, um, who also played Lock. So, you look at the hybrid player, again, like Peter Steffi 12, for instance, who can cover Lock and number 7 flanker. Um, he's quite a hard worker and a hard grafter for the Sharks. So, I'll set Tyler Paul at number 7. And number 6, uh, Yaku Kutsir for the Stormers. Or of the Stormers for that matter. Um, he's very good playing towards the ball. Can also fold the number 8 jersey. And um, he has quite um, good, good ball skills, ball sense. Um, has speed around the fringes of the ruck. So, um, yeah, I'll go with Jakes at number 6. And then at number 5, lock I have J.D. Schickeling. Also another Springbok tourist. Um, who has infinite potential. And um, I'll play J.D. at number 5. Along with his Stormers teammate at number 4, Salman Murat. Um, I feel Salman has been solid for the Stormers in the absence of an Eben Itzabeth. It's quite big shoes to fill and although he hasn't been as good as Eben, it's potential that can be unlocked and hopefully um, if the side should happen in future, he'll be selected. And number 3, Carl Lusari. I was a bit on the fence on the props to be honest, especially at um, tight head. Because um, I know Franz van Weyck has been doing well this season for the Lions. And also, Carl Lusari has been doing well for them last year. He hasn't fight as much this year, but if you look at his games last year, he's been dis destructive, very destructive. And I feel that, you know, it's not a case of, um, of form. Well, it's a case of form, but it's not a case of the talent isn't there. The talent is definitely there. And it was maybe just a case of form. And um, with a few more games, he might, you know, find his rhythm again and his, and his mojo again and be a destructive number Number three, prop for the Lions and maybe for the SAA side. Um, number two, Joseph Dweber. Yes, we look at Cheetah's players as well. Joseph is big, dynamic, powerful, fast, and he's do doing his basics right. No problem for me, Joseph Dweber. And at number one, uh, I have some people with my tongues in my He's injured at the moment, but um, like I said in, uh, in a previous vlog before, he's impressed me since day one. I had no idea who the kid was. He came off the bench for the Bulls, and um, I remember last year the Sharks, he came on and won a penalty for them that won the game in the end, you know, with a decent scrummaging performance, and um, I feel that he can go far in South African rugby. I feel that the Springboks at prop in general are blessed for the future. It's a position that many teams envy the Springboks in, because you don't get quality props as much as we have, you know. We have like guys who didn't even play in the World Cup, was on the fringe like Lizzo and um, some other guys at Wilco, you know, and Thomas came um, in place of Trevor as well. So there's decent, decent stocks of props in South Africa. Keep on eating the beef, boys. We do well. Keep that barrage on, eh? Um, at Hooker, I have Kieran van Vieren. Um, so basically, uh, Kieran is, is a very good talent actually for the Sharks and um, he's been doing well in their pack. And the Sharks pack is more of like a hard-working pack, not flashy names, you know, in the in the tight five or in the um, in the um, eight forwards basically, but um, hard workers and gets the job done. Um, Alistair for Mark of the Stormers, when this, when he came off the bench for the Stormers, basically um, they haven't had a bad scrum to be honest um, on their own feet for for that matter. He won a few penalties himself, and he's been solid for him for the past two years. There's been talks of him being a, box, a spring box dark horse in 2019. At the end of your tour, so yeah, all you get to not there, my friend. Um, number 18, Franz van Weyck, who I mentioned earlier. And number 19, Hiram Andrews. Again, a hard worker for the Sharks. Not the most flashiest player, kind of like a Franco Mostert kind of vibe. So Hiram Andrews get the, the nod for me there. Um, number 20, I've, I've kind of I've scratched my head around this selection. I went with Martin Skuman initially, but then I thought to myself, um... Do you want a like-for-like -like replacement on the bench? Because you already have, like you could see, also plays towards the ball. 
or do you want someone else who will bring a different dynamic to the game, you know, when it gets a bit loose perhaps? So I changed my mind to Achiwa Daimani to play at number 8 or number 6, I think he can play 6 as well. Um, so basically that is my selection number 20, 21 Dylan Smith of the Lions, 22 Tian Mayer of the Cheetahs. Um, again, like I mentioned, you know, it's guys, all our teams in the, in the country has caps already for the box, so I had to go for someone who doesn't have it. And Tyron Green, the outstepping um, Lions fullback and winger, um, being the outside back replacement. So basically, that's my selection. Um, you know, for, for the SAA side, I would love to get you guys comments and views on this. Do, do drop a like, a share if you can, and if you'd like, and um, let me know what you think. Um, and other than that, guys, again, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back next week with a New Zealand SAA, or a New Zealand A side, sorry. Um, and you guys let me know what you think about that. So yeah, but for now, guys, have a good week so far. Stay safe, stay indoors, and um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys soon again. Adios. Cheers.